Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fish and Vids. I am in South Florida. Happy holidays. It's almost New Year's. A new year is on the way and it's been almost a month or more since I've even casted a line. Guys, I'm throwing a Topwater Booyah Boss Pop. I got Topwater in December and guys, that's, uh, that's going to be the deal this morning. I'm going to be out here for a short spell. I can't take it much because let me tell you, it's been painful. This guy right here, I got the brace on, the tennis elbow is no better than the day after I heard it. It's gonna be a six to 12 month process. I've been rehabbing it. So I'm gonna go easy today. I got a light rod and I got a little, like I said, top water bait. I got this beautiful little boss pop. Perfect conditions for some top water. The weather's been amazing down here. It's been a little bit rainy. It's been warm though, so that's the big deal. So this top water bite should be on. I'm gonna see if I can get something going here and put together a little fishing video for once it's been too long so let's get at it and see if we can find something on top these golf course ponds down here in this specific community where my parents live are loaded giant largemouth i found peacock bass here uh, the last time i was out which was a big surprise but not i figured there might be some in here but i finally caught some and caught my first florida bullseye snakehead out of here last time i was down here so anything could bite this time of year is incredible again the weather's perfect so it's just a matter of time before these golfers come out and I got to get to a different section. So I'm going to take advantage of this area until I make a move. All right, the golfers are already here. So I'm going to make a move and hit the other side of this here pond, cross this bridge and get onto the spot where hopefully we'll get on a good top water bite. There's number one guys. There's number one, beautiful top water bite absolutely awesome that's so great what a good feeling it doesn't feel that great my left arm is actually reeling my left arm is doing the work but it's a decent little fish i'll take it oh and he gets off all day long go top water guys how cool is that in florida i'm not disappointed at all losing the fish because all i care about is the bite and a little tug of the line so you can pull one in and actually show it to you Throwing this boss pop on an old school quantum smoke reel with 30 pound test braid. And I've got myself a short 14 pound test monofilament leader. Both of them are floating and I got a loop knot. I got a loop knot on that boss pop so I can give it a little more action and have it walk a little bit nicer. So that's a setup. And this is just a six foot, I believe a six foot eight. Oh, let's see, it's a crucial rod, a Shimano crucial medium action. Oh, come on. There's bite number two, but boy, was it long distance. Guys, this thing is casting so far. I'm casting all the way to the side where I can't actually stand and fish because of the golf course. So this 30 pound test and this, I guess, weight transfer system, man, it is heaving it. It's killing my arm a little bit, but I just got a little pop over there, but he didn't get a, get a hook. Oh, they got, they got, that time he got it. I got it right back out there and boy, he just sucked it in as a decent one. Isn't that funny? Yeah, so I, I didn't even see the bite. I think he just sucked it down and I pulled back and felt the weight after he ran with it. There's your first fish, guys. There it is. Unbelievable. <laughs> Top water fishing in December. Can't ask for better than that. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, what do we have to have when we're fishing with treble hooks? I've got myself some pliers. Let me get this hook out and I'll be right back to you guys. One and two all right folks what do you think of that isn't that beautiful nothing huge but it's a topwater fish so let's put that back and see if we can catch a couple more there we go got it all the way to the other side guys that's a decent fish right there that's a decent fish i hope he stays on because a nice one isn't that incredible man this long casting situation made it got all the way back out to the other side and again golf course side so that side's not fished as much and there's some good vegetation come on out here that's a nice one awesome that's a good one guys that's the ones we want to come to florida for we ain't going anywhere look at this look at this guys isn't this incredible that's what I came out here for. A little bit skinny, but he's got a big old mouth on him. What do you think of that? <laughs> Absolutely awesome. What the heck is going on? They just turned the fountain on. Isn't that funny? All right, let me get the hook out, guys. Be right back to you. There it is. Absolutely beautiful. I love this stuff. 
Right, let's get that one back in, see if we can get ourselves another one. There we go. <laughs> I finally got my dink. Guys, I have to catch a dink, right? You gotta go from the big old pig to a dinky dink. And I'm happy as I can be about it because there's another bass in the hand. So that's a couple blow ups. Well, one blow up, I had one almost here. And three, actually, it'd have to be unhooked. Right, let's put that back. I got about another half an hour. Let's see what else happens. There we go. There's number four. A little bit bigger than that last dink. Let's see what we got here. Maybe not much, but yeah, he's a tiny bit bigger. Cool. Got a little spot here. Ah, he's not much bigger at all, but I'll take him. That's cool. Top water action again in December. Too fun. Oh, there we go, guys. Another nice little top water bite. I love it. And let's make sure it's nothing but a bass. Yep. A little bass guys just so cool man i mean i'm ready to call it here very shortly guys i'm really trying to get some breakfast hang out with the family but this video is not going to end here this video is actually going to continue uh into the afternoon once i get back out here i'm going to actually bring out a mystery tackle box i brought down here with me from this month so uh let's go at it just a few more maybe one more bass if we're lucky and we'll get that mystery tackle box out a little later and try some soft plastics and do whatever it takes to catch some more of these beautiful florida bass stay tuned there we go nice that was a nice little delay i put on that one that's cool i don't have a hard time getting out of here guys this is not fast and furious but it's productive the little ones i'm happy i got a big one but i'm happy i'm catching them so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep going for about 10 more minutes and then we're gonna call it guys another one back to back casts awesome too cool all we got's off all right i see what's going on now that was a little guy, but they're right up on that bank. I mean, this is one of those sections of the pond where I can cast from one end to the other. And if I can get it to that other bank, I'm usually going to find something right up against some of that vegetation. So let's just keep casting over there and see what happens. Here we go, guys. <laughs> nice. I can't stop. I just can't stop. I might be a little late for breakfast, but I cannot stop when it's like this and it's been so long. I could care less if they're little when it's a topwater fish. All right, so here's the deal. I got the end of the road, meaning the end of the pond coming up. That's where I am going to stop, but I got a little bit more topwater action to go, hopefully. Oh, what a bite that was. Wow, that was crazy. Guys, that's only like two casts later. I guess I found a, a little bit better spot here and... A little bit better bass. Oh, and he's in and he's out. Let's that quick release happen. That's why I'm not stopping, guys. That's why I'm not stopping. It's, a, it's happening right back in here. This little section's working. All right, just perfect. Just get it right all along that edge on the other side, right by those weeds, and let it sit for a second and just some gentle pops. They're coming up and killing it. Too fun. All right, I've hit the dead end. I got a little more rain and I'm hoping for one more top water bite guys if there's any place to do it it's over here there's all kinds of stuff going on but if i don't that's okay it's been an absolutely incredible morning the rain is definitely coming down harder than it's been all morning so perfect time to get maybe one more bass if not just get on out of here and get ready guys because i'm going to break out that mystery taco box a little later so this video is not done all right guys last cast by the drain and we're calling it let's get on out of here let me get this one more crazy cast in here see how good an angle i can get who knows what's lurking back here and nailed it right there. That'd be funny if I get one more right here. Not happening. All right, guys, that's it for the morning uh, round of topwater fishing. It's been awesome. Let's get on out of here and let's kick back here with the mystery tackle box and some soft plastics and who knows what else. Even catch some more of these Florida bass. There we go, guys. They always say fishermen are good liars. <laughs> And I gotta be honest with you, that might be one because I told you I was done, but there's this one more patch of pads over here by my parents' condo that I did not hit on the walk back. So I hit it and I hit it with one more little dink. All right, we'll see you a little later. 
All right, I am back, but guys, it's not the same day. I got washed out rain like you wouldn't believe. Yesterday afternoon was a washout, so I'm back out here on a new section of the community with a new lake. Not new lake for me fishing-wise. This is a killer spot. I've whacked them out here. I've done mystery tackle box slams and just annihilate them, but every day is different out here. And as promised, I've got myself the mystery tackle box pro box from this past month. So we're going to break this open quick, throw some baits, and see if we can pull something off. So here's the deal. Thank you, mystery tackle box, for sponsoring this video, by the way. A no brainer when it comes to an awesome box to get every month with all these baits look what we got in here guys we got a vexen verns stone roller crankbait and it's a bluegill pattern deep diver check that bad boy out tell me there's not some bluegill in here uh, that these big four bass want to munch on so we got ourselves a deep diver it's super deep out here and there's a weed edge so if you keep it down and raise your rod tip up before you get snagged up in the weeds that's the way to work those deep divers in ponds like this smith wick rattling rogue one of the most classic and well-known jerk baits out there there's a floater so real fast moving jerk bait out in this warm water of florida that could definitely get some attention what do we have next another crankbait we got ourselves a bomber fed a who doesn't know one of those and who doesn't know a sexy shad so there's a perfect bait for out here if we want to throw a crankbait then we've got next 10,000 fish saw crawl first soft plastic no brainer crawl pattern soft plastic texas rig maybe cut off a section throw that on the back of a vibrating jig who knows let's see what happens with that next bait out of the box and they just keep coming guggen baits drag and drop this might be tough you see my uh, brace here my right arm no spin and tackle today but i can still drop shot with a bait caster might be a little more power shot in action but there's a great looking guggen baits drop shot bait coming out of the mystery tackle box how about them apples next what do we got we got ourselves a riot bait the uh the probe this is a green pumpkin straight tail just a shaky head worm i'm definitely gonna shake head today see what i can pull off that's probably my most finessey soft plastic if i'm not doing the drop shot and always in a mystery tackle box we've got ourselves some terminal tackle stickies extra wide gap four aught hook that's going to go great with that craw if i decided to do some texas rigging and now i've got the terminal tackle to do it killer box guys as promised there it is unboxing done now let's try and do a slam maybe if not we're just going to throw until we catch some four bass and see what this morning has to offer all right, no brainer guys. I'm gonna tie on some moving baits first. So I got the Vexen Burn Stone Roller, that little bluegill pattern deep diving crankbait. Let's crank this thing around. I'm not gonna be rolling over any stones, but there's definitely gonna be some grass and weeds down here. So let's get it out there and see what happens and test out the moving bait situation. Yep. Just like I thought, even with a high high rod tip, sometimes those ponds are not conducive of a crankbait. I've caught them out here on crankbaits, but nothing this deep diving. So we're gonna take this off right away and put on that rattle and rogue. Maybe the bomber, let's see if that thing's not diving too deep and go from there, cause yeah, it's a beautiful bait. I'll be bringing that home with me for sure. All right, that's more like it guys. There's the rattle and rogue. Just a great floating jerk bait. That's definitely the one I wanna throw if I'm gonna throw a moving bait out of this mystery tackle box. So let's get at it. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. First fish on the jerk bait. So we got the Smith Wick rattling road taking care of business on a dink. At least it's got me sip. Got myself a fish for a minute there. I thought I was gonna be in trouble. But I'll take a deke any day. Thank you, rattling road. We just gotta find your mama. Whoa, there's number two. Wow, that's only oh, that's a little bit better fish. Oh, and he gets off. That was only two casts later. I'm getting it all the way to that far edge right there. Kind of like what happened yesterday with the topwater fish. Get right on that opposite edge. And with these little canal sections, these ponds being narrow, I can get way out there. So that was awesome. And two hookups on the jerk bait in like five minutes. No brainer, guys. This is great. So let's get over here. Just work this angle right on the edge of those weeds. It's a floater, so I'm gonna let it float there for a second. Almost like a topwater. Reel it down two turns and just start jerking. See what happens. Okay guys, got myself another little fish here and he's itty bitty. I'm anxious to see if I can get myself a little peacock bass out of here or something. I sure did, there it is. I got myself a baby. Oh, he's so sweet. Look at that little peacock bass out of a bait from the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box this month. How cool is that? I saw another one chase it down. It was much, much bigger and it definitely was a peacock. So yeah, check that out, double species. I got myself a, oh, there he goes. I got myself a hookup on a bass. I got myself a bass hooked up, didn't get him in, and now I got myself a baby peacock. That's cool, all right. So this jerkbait's working. I'm not gonna work it too much longer because I'm really anxious to throw some soft plastics, but let's see if we can catch a couple more in this thing. 
All right, just working my way around this canal section of this pond. I'm at the end. Got a couple hookups with that rattle rogue. Not a bad deal. It's staying on, guys. I'm going to definitely be fishing this. Uh, and I might even be hitting some more ponds as the morning progresses. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time, but I can cover a lot of water and hit a lot of ponds in this area. So let's put this up. I'm anxious to throw some soft plastics and slow down a bit. So let's get at it with some of those, see what happens. All right, about to probe these waters with the Riot Baits probe. So I got that little... Uh, little shaky head going on 316 sounds a little shaky head and uh green pumpkin let's hook it up not going to cast very far right on the edge of these weeds is a drop off so let's go ahead and play there we go nice <laughs> he's in the he's on the bank and he's off the bank quick release guys first uh soft plastic fish of the trip on the little ride baits cool and right at my feet pretty much just jigging right on the edge of these uh, on the edge of this grass so cast it all the way across and i'm dropping at my feet so let's see if we can get something bigger all right the action is not fast and furious even with a little shaky head out here it's a tough it's a tough morning uh i got the 10,000 fish saw crawl on here now so this is like a watermelon looks like and i got that texas rig so just some easy pitching right on the edges here with about i think that's about a 3 8 ounce tungsten so let's go at it and see what happens with a little bigger bait nice I got the sawgrass fishing this is a decent one all right there we go got myself a Texas rigged crawl soft plastic fish that's great amongst all these landscapers man it is loud there we go there's another fish off a of bait of the mystery tackle box let's go out and keep going all right, it has definitely been a tough bite this morning, but as I may have mentioned, there's a little bit of a breeze out here. There's the saw crawl on the back of my Finch Nasty Nasty Stumper Vibrating Jig. That's my favorite vibrating jig. Got it out of Mystery Tackle Box a few years ago, and it's been one of my favorites ever since. So I'm gonna cast this thing out there and see if they're eating something moving. Oh my gosh, guys, that was an awesome bite. Nice fish too. Just figures I great break out my favorite vibrating jig and get the biggest fish of the morning. And thankfully I got a sawgrass or what I should say a saw crawl to put on the back of it. Figures I do with this little bit of wind and that awesome bait. Double whammy mystery tackle box baits right here. One oldie and one new. Guys, I'm gonna throw this for a little while. Great combo. Okay, guys, there's a nice one. All right, another nice fish. Awesome. Oh, the vibrating jig. There it is. Got it in. All right, guys, this is the deal. The bigger fish are eating a moving bait, and I'm covering more water. So that's a great combo, like I said. Let's keep at it. Don't have much time, guys. That might be the sign out fish if I don't catch another one. We're going to go out for about another 10 minutes. I just pond hopped. This is the first time I have ever fished this little pond in this community ever so i'm gonna try and get one more fish i'm a little late for breakfast but it's uh it's tough to stop throwing when all of a sudden you start catching especially on a great little moving bait like this so let's throw this a couple more times or enough to get maybe one more sign out fish and i'm going to call it full blown wow look how clear that water is all right here we go guys this is it right here this is it it's a nice one i love it that's only like three casts and i get myself my sign out fish oh when he gets off guys i ain't done that's not a sign up fish i am looking to bring one in man he had it good and look at this man you gotta see what happened he had a scale right on the right on the tip of my hook right there it's a sharp hook but he wasn't quite as peg as he could have been all right let's try and get another one three casts you kidding me i'm definitely gonna catch another one once we get at it okay that's it there we go that didn't take much longer and let's see what we got not a too bad a fish i'll take it all right guys i can't i can't stop it's a little one the last one was bigger but i'll uh throw this one back and keep fishing like i'm not supposed to <laughs> i might just pass on breakfast and go for lunch all right as i seek out my final fish be sure to look at that link below in the description is a link to mystery tackle box you want to treat yourself to your own mystery tackle box or mystery tackle box pro box use my code ytfv 
short for YouTube Fishing Vid, you'll get $10 off the first box of your new subscription. I see a little patch of pads over here. Let's hope to get that sign out fish. That's it, guys. That's it. Oh, it feels like, 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 like a nice one. I can't even speak. Oh, it's a nice. Holy sh... Mm, guys, I don't cuss much on my videos, but I might because I got myself a giant snakehead, and he's in. I got him, guys. The sign out fish is the biggest bullseye snakehead I have ever caught in Florida. I cannot believe it, guys. The last fish of 2019 for me is a bullseye snakehead in Florida. It is New Year's Eve, guys. It is it is December 31st. I don't think I mentioned that. I gotta get my hands on this thing. It is a big, strong, beautiful fish. When you look at that right in the jaw. Didn't lose them. Unreal. I can't believe it, guys. Happy New Year, guys. This is the treat of the trip. And the fact that I got this is unreal. I'm gonna try to flip it over one more time, guys. There it is. Bullseye Snakehead. Happy New Year. I'm gonna sign out. I'm gonna get some breakfast. I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself to maybe one more day in Florida. And we're gonna go ahead and throw this bad boy back as always. I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. And until we meet again, over and out.